You see a humble person today serving God dedicatedly. Little opportunity, they start puffing up. Little opportunity. People don't go back to history. Satan lifted up himself in heaven. He crashed. Pride goeth down before he fall. It's not a prayer. It must happen. When you see somebody breaking ranks, no regard for instead authority, no regard for oil. He said, you know, when the fan is still blowing, does not mean it's still connected to source. It's a matter of time. It will stop completely. Can I tell you the truth? From my experience, never conclude that anybody is humble until God leaves them. I've seen too many things. Somebody can, I've seen people greet me morning, afternoon, evening, rolling on the floor. But little privileges, they are off. I've seen it. Not one, not twice, not three, not four, not five. I've seen it countless of times. I told God, any money that will make me arrogant, don't give me. Any place I will go that will make me turn back on God, let me never go. Whatever financial blessing that will make me look down on human beings, let me not have it. Whatever blessing of God that will come upon my life, that will make me disregard my elders, let me not have it. It's a vow. Because if you don't place yourself under a vow, Sometimes you don't even know when you misbehave. You just see a young man, a young woman, little lifting from God. You can't correct them. You can't talk to them. They see themselves larger than life. People don't just arrive. Can't you see that after service, I embrace children, I talk to children. Those children you see me greet, they are my lifeline, I love them. There is no member on this church. I've told my protocol team, don't come here and be rehearsing with me. Anybody that wants to see me, who is a member of this church, have a right to their pastor. They have a right. Every member. Because can I tell you something? Now hear this. A member of this church was going to commit suicide. The day I had this thing, I wept. As she was going, I didn't know what happened to me. The Lord just placed a picture in my heart. Call this person. And I called. It was that call that saved her life. Truth, truth testimony. Sometimes, that one-on-one -on -one audience with their pastor, that warmly embrace can keep a life. So I've told my protocol, I'm not telling you not to do your job. But don't cut me off from the people I'm sent to. Without these people, I have no calling. I am called a pastor because of them. So while you are doing your official job, I understand security details, I understand some things, but allow the people to have audience with their man of God. I don't joke with that. You know why I'm doing that? The day I stop it, let the owner of the work the one who employed me. Let him not change his mind and sack me. You don't know God can sack a pastor. <laughs> Lift your hands up. Say, Father. Father. Whatever, Whatever will make me proud, cut it off from me.